What's going on, RJ? Uh, same old, same old, just dealing with these 4th of July fireworks. 4th of July fireworks? I haven't done a video on that in a year, have I? Well, it's time, buddy. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to do a video just for you, my friend. I'll do it for you, too. Let's go ahead and we're going to dive into a 4th of July video for my buddy RJ and for you guys. And I will see you guys right after the intro. Deuces! I was about to hit end on the phone call. <laughs> Alrighty, first of all, if this is your first time watching, please smash that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit me up on Instagram at Adam Your Dog Trainer, where I post pictures of my students on a daily basis. And yes, I am back posting pictures again, thank God, because you know what? RJ was getting mad at me because I haven't posted a picture because I was furloughed for so long. Now I'm back. Also, feel free to uh, hit me up with a message if you have any questions or advice or a video you want me to do on, I'll, I'll post it up. That's what RJ needs, so I'm gonna do one for you too if you ask. Alrighty, so let's talk about this, you know, fireworks, 4th of July, and also don't forget New Year's is another time we have a lot of fireworks. Now, I just so happen to live in Orlando where we have fireworks pretty much on a daily basis here. So let me dive into a little bit about how to help your dog today, which is 4th of July. So the first thing you wanna make sure you do is you take your dog on a big, long walk, cause that's gonna help tire them out. And you obviously wanna do that before sunset. The next thing you wanna do, and oh, and by the way, I mean a long walk, like a mile or two, all right? Then the next thing you wanna do is you definitely want to make sure you add some kind of music to your house, all right? Make that overpower any fireworks that's coming through, which is something RJ's doing right now, which is perfect. All right, lastly, most importantly, do not pay too much attention to the dog's fear. What I want you to do instead is I want you to try training. This is a good time for you to grab some treats. All right, do you have treats, RJ? I do. Okay, so you're gonna grab some treats and you and RJ, we are all going to do just your very basic commands. Things we've talked about before in training. We've talked about doing sit, down, talk about looking, talk about coming when called. Do play like obstacle course games around your house just to get your dog's mind off of the actual booms and bangs going on outside. And what I mean by obstacle course is put some pillows on the ground, put a broom across it, and there you have a jump. So now your dog can learn to jump over the broom and that's gonna help your dog refocus their energy on getting the reward instead of worrying about the big booms outside. All right, I mean, a simple, easy thing like that's gonna help your dog so much. And eventually, if you do this all the time, like I tell my students, RJ, here in Orlando to do this on a daily basis, during the fireworks because then the dogs actually become conditioned that they want to hear that sound of the fireworks because they know it's playtime then and they get the zoomies and they get all excited it's like a reverse psychology thing and it works fantastically if you do it correctly anyway let me know in the comments below how you guys are doing don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and hopefully this helps rj out and this helps you out also. I'll see you guys next time. Deuces. I almost hit end again. <laughs>